What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're headed to Locals and it's been a while since I've actually got to play at a Locals and this Locals that we're going to is actually going to be my first time playing there. So I've been to that Locals before but I've never actually played there personally and today we get the opportunity to actually play at that Locals, meet some new people and see how today goes. Now if I sound a little bit weird it's because I'm a little bit under the weather. Don't worry it's not the vid, we're safe but uh, you know you guys can hear from my voice I'm a little bit nasally, my lips are kind of dry. I got some I got some chopsticks don't worry for that but I'm excited to be going there because I mean this is the first time I've had real free time to go play at a locals and I'm really excited to be doing so so I'm going to take you guys along with me if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload a lot here on the channel we do the vlogs the deck profiles the combo videos all sorts of different kinds of content so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that thank you guys all for watching and then that's I guess all I have to say I really do appreciate every single one of you we're gonna head over to locals and then I'll see you when we get there all right so we're at the locals we're here at upper hand and uh i was getting ready talking to the guys meeting some new guys you know saying hi to some people that i know already and bro i'm a little bit stressed so today we brought dinos and if you guys don't know if you guys have seen my dino list it plays a lot of the bestial monsters because you really want to beat the metagame however today i was informed that no one's going to be on tier because everyone's playing to get ready for photon hypernova i don't know what it is but apparently there's no tier limit players here so now i have eight cards in my main deck that is absolutely dead now the locals hasn't started just yet so i technically can change the deck and i know you're not supposed to change decks or you're not supposed to scout you're not supposed to do that kind of stuff but they informed me that it's not a tier day so i think i'm gonna change up my deck the thing is i don't have my other cards on me i don't have my imperms my veilers i don't have my other hand traps on me so i gotta figure out what to put in my deck it is go second it is blind go second so maybe i put in some cards that help me break boards I know I got my Fenrir's on me. Usually they're in my side deck, but maybe I can put them in my main deck. I don't even know, but we got to make something up on the spot. Local starts in like 15 minutes and I got to build something real quick. And hopefully that we can build something that can actually compete with whatever the metagame here is because I was expecting tier. Who knows what we're going to be playing up against. But at the same time, that does give me a little bit more hope. It makes me feel like I won't have to think as hard to win if that makes sense, right? Because I don't got to play against tier. But at the same time, my deck's not ready. So I'm going to go back in there real quick, build the deck, put it together, hopefully get some feature matches for you as well. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'll give you guys an update when I can. So game one in my round one, we're going up against Earth Machine. I set up full combo. Conductor for 7k with Dugaris is just so broken and we go for game. My hand's not very good. Uh, almost on the drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> I'll reveal some reguluses. Yeah, I'll just reveal three reguluses. Go ahead and cut so I can draw my two. Big, big, big. Uno. Dos. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. no. Keep going. Don't do it. Don't do that, it. Don't that, do that. it. I, I'm just going to put this here. No, no. It's worse than you think. Activate it? Clockwork Knight. So here you guys are going to see we're going into game three. I'm going to get my full combo off. I opened Giant Rex. So when you open Giant Rex, it's hard to go into Loggy or Dolka. So here we're just going to end on a Savage plus an Apollo with three negates as well as a Conductor and a Petite Pteranodon. This way we can go into Pancratops on my opponent's turn. But with this many disruptions, like you're going to be winning the game anyways. It's one, two, three, four, five different disruptions. All right, we're going to step out here real quick because it's really busy in there. There's like three tournaments running at the same time. It's Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and One Piece, I think. So it's a pretty busy day, so I'm just going to step out here to talk. Uh, we won our first round. It was actually a really good first round. I'm going to have some clips up on the vlog for that round. Basically, game one, I just you know made a crazy board, OTK'd him. Uh, he went first, of course, but then, you know, that's what Dino does. You put up big monsters, you OTK. Game two, he put up Barrier Statue. The, 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 I'm not going to lie, man. Earth Machine or whatever you want to call it. That deck is actually kind of crazy. Put up Barrier Statue plus the Dora, I think is the Ixie's name. And he put up a Regulus, which is just way too crazy. And then on top of that, he had the Disc Coliseum so he could protect the Barrier Statue from battle, which was just absolutely insane. But then game three, I went first, made a crazy board. He couldn't really play through it. And that was really it, man. We have round one to our name. I think it's going to be four rounds today. It looks like a pretty big turnout. So we'll see how it goes from here. But getting round one against a rogue matchup like that is actually pretty good in my opinion because the deck's not actually technically built to beat those kind of decks. So because Dino could beat the decks that it's really not built to beat, if that makes sense, I feel a lot more confident about potentially winning our future matchup. So we'll see how it goes from here. On top of that, we played against our friend Victor, who is a really nice guy. So it was just a really fun round overall. All right, so I didn't get too much footage of game one, but he won game one. The board was unbreakable here miracle plus conclave plus baguska game two here is just fenrir beatdown so we end up getting game two with fenrir and anti-spell 
Game three, he sets up pretty much the same exact board. I have the Cosmic Cyclone. He ends up actually negating the first one with the Miracle. So I only actually end up getting one Banish. And then I end up using Imperm on the Baguska, which is why I'm allowed to combo here. And you guys are going to see, because Crystal Beast is such a control-based deck, we were actually getting pretty close to time. And because we were getting close to time, I knew I had to do as much damage as possible. You guys can see I'm at 6,000 life points. He's at 2,700. And so I was just trying to push for as much damage and then make it so that he couldn't do damage to me. So you guys are going to see here, the Tyranno I attacked just did some damage. And then I'm just sitting on the Tyranno and the Arcosaur on board just so I can Book of Moon his monsters. And then with this case, I end up winning in time. Yo, so we won our round two and we're in round three right now. So we're XO. And my round three opponent is none other than Arnie himself. Arnie, you're XO? Mm -hmm. You're going to be X1 after this. Actually, you're going to be X1. All right, we'll see about that. A few moments later. Arnie! I'm joking, it was a really good game. We went into game three, and uh, yo, Arnie, you played hard, man. How was the games for you? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was not bad, actually. It was pretty good. Yo, game game one, was it game one or game two when I went 16k? Almost went 16k. That was tough. Good game, Arnie. Oh, baby. 3 0, baby. You already know what it is. Your boy's undefeated. Arnie, that last round was really good. I'm gonna be honest, the last two rounds were really good. I know I didn't get to vlog much after the second round, that's because the third, we were getting like really close into time. So we went straight into the third round and it was close, bro. So round two, we played against Crystal Beast. Shout out Neshi. That deck is actually really, really good. Conclave in the battle phase is just so powerful because Misk doesn't protect that, right? So that deck is really good. But again, when you're siding, and I'll do a deck profile later, maybe in another video, but I'm siding so much back row hate because I just, I can't deal with back row. Like, I really hate back row. So luckily game three, I got to see the back row hate and you know, that's how it goes. And then round three, we played against Arnie. Like you guys saw, he was on Evil Twin Plunder. That deck is a legit deck, bro. Game one, he just, no, was it game one or game two? I think I, I think I got him game one, and then it was game two. He just got me good, like, i am be honest. And then it was uh, game three. We were going back and forth, but I got to set up, and once they set up with Dino, when you put in Savage Dragon plus a Dolka plus an Apple on board, you know you're winning that game. So I'm really excited because we're going into our final round now. I believe it's four rounds, and we're XO. I don't know who else is XO. Guys, we can come first place today. I'm really excited. The deck is so powerful, and I need you guys to see it because I, I know I do a lot of Dino stuff on this channel, but when you guys see how powerful this deck is, in today's format yes we didn't play against tier limits but into everything else when you when you build the deck to beat tier limits it's still good into tier i just swapped the bestial cards for other hand traps for today's build because we're not playing against tier limits right but the deck is just so powerful i promise you guys got to play it it's just so good time was just called so we're gonna go into round four and uh, let's see if we can finish xo a little longer than a few minutes later oh baby x oh in four rounds that last round was against a great player his name was cody and man that was tough bro he was a insane but we ended up winning it in game three and that was crazy so he was playing bestial dragon link and bro that deck goes so hard but the funny thing is there was times where he had like three bestials in his hand but unless you're hitting there's there's not many cards in dino in general that can get hit with the bestial cards so he just kept them in hand and every time he would use them guess what cards we have conductor and so every time he had a monster on the board it was just free fodder for conductor to keep attacking keep doing damage bro it was just i don't know exo today with dino i Again, bro, I keep winning with this deck. This deck is insane. I'm telling you guys. Yes, we didn't play against tier limits, but again, you would build the deck. I'll show you guys the deck profile. You would build the deck to play against tier limits. You just play the bestials over the hand traps that I chose to play. So, for example, I played three imperm, three ash, and uh, two triple tactics, and that was eight cards. But those eight cards would be bestials against the tier limit matchup, right? So keep that in mind. This deck is insane. We're EXO, and they're about to announce, I think, who won. So I'm really excited. It was my first locals in a long time, honestly, and so. So to go XO, the first time back, I didn't misplay, I didn't play it poorly, and that just makes me feel good, you know? I'm still nice at the game, bro. I'm still nice. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh players, I have your standing. In first, we have Aladdin. In second is Jimmy. First place, baby. First place. I'll keep it 100. This first place prizing isn't the, the greatest prizing, but it's prizing nonetheless, and it's, the, you know, going XO feels nice still. All right, guys, I'm back home, and honestly, I got some celebratory McDonald's. I don't have McDonald's very often, so I was like, you know what? Let's get some McDonald's, and I'm really excited because we went XO with Dino, and I got to show people that Dino is still the best deck, baby. Let's go. I love this deck so much. I'm so excited that I can keep playing it in today's format. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I got to rebuild the deck for when the cost share stuff comes out in Photon Hyper. Nova because we got to do some testing and some theorizing but I promise you Dino 
is a good deck the best deck baby i'm super excited came first place shout out the upper hand man i want to say one thing before we end off the video if there's one thing about Yu-Gi-Oh that i love and i think is the most important thing it's the people that you meet i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't know some people there but there are some people like cody who i met in my last round who are just absolutely amazing people it was such a good time i really like meeting these people and just growing the community is the most important thing for me so honestly that was just the best part yes of course going exo felt nice it feels good the fact that i'm coming back to Yu-Gi-Oh after such a long period of time without actually playing and still being able to play well and, and I mean obviously win the locals which is kind of nice now obviously this is not a premier event or anything but it still feels good you know when you go XO out of locals with a deck that no one expects you to win with right so I was really excited about that guys in tomorrow's video I'll be showing you guys the deck profile I know I do a ton of dino deck profiles but I'm really excited to be showing it to you guys so I'll be doing that for you guys as well thank you guys all for watching if you guys did enjoy make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we do the vlogs we do the the duels the, the deck profiles I hope I got to show you guys some really cool replays of the duels as well because i know i did capture some of that so at least you guys can see how the deck plays how the deck looks so i thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart and with that spanko sign it out peace